cheers and enjoy the show. Welcome to the bars open. What up? Three, two, one, go, go, go where? Just keep talking, honey. Like no little, dead air. It's like the little boy that asked me, and I think I was in the first grade, if I wanted to go with him. I wanted to go with him, and I was like, go where? And he was like. Did you actually say that to no, him? No, he's like, go steady. And then I said to him, I don't know. I have to ask my mom. Sorry, I got to turn that down. Mm-hmm. You and know. And I said, I'm sorry. I have to ask my mom. All right. So when I was in eighth grade. Okay. How old would I, would I have been then? I have no idea. Um, eighth grade is a Twelve? boy for me. Twelve. Twelve, probably-ish. It was probably, I lived in North Carolina. What's up, MC? Boosh. Um, Boosh. So I was in eighth grade, maybe seventh grade, something like that. Mm-hmm. I am a hopeless romantic from the beginning. I don't think you're a hopeless romantic. You have your romantic no, moment. The reason being is that I'm not anymore. Is girls have beaten it out of me. Okay, you need to warm that they engine back up. Beat it out of me. Okay, You've been so with the same girl for 20 years. You can't use that excuse anymore. They y'all have beaten it out of me. Um, no, but I, I remember I, she was just hot chick too. I mean, well, hot as hot can be. And yeah, 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 yeah. She was just like little old. Asian chick. I was into Asians back then. Wow. Asian persuasion. Okay. Well, yours was eighth grade. Mine was first grade. Big difference. I don't know. If That's it was why when you grade. said, do you want to go with me? I was like, I can't oh, remember. I'm, I'm having a real hard time. I think it was in North Carolina. And then, you know what my mom told me to tell him? What? No, you don't want to be strapped down with one. <laughs> okay. But I wanted to be strapped down. I was like, I was I don't looking. I think she said strapped down, but no, I was, tied down. She said, you don't want to be tied down. I, I would have been strapped. So I literally told him, thanks, but I don't want to be tied down. I would have been strapped down by this girl. Maybe I was a little older. Maybe I was like 13. No, because I was. I lived in North Carolina, I think. They have Asian people in North Carolina. There's a few, um, but anyway, I bought. So okay, it was a pool party invite kind of thing, like mm-hmm. a, a like a. Um, have you guys ever gone to? Do you remember her name? Anna. Do you remember her last name? No. I remember my David Hill. He turned out to be quite studly, like he was a ladies' man in middle and school. Anna, and high if you're out there, what could have been? Good thing you dodged that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. So, but what I did do is I went to the store and I bought perfume. Ew. And I think it was like grandma perfume. Ew. Worst so, choice ever. Dude, my mom was an asshole, by the way, because she didn't tell me better. Your mom was chuckling inside. No, no, no. no. My mom was totally like all for it. Like, yeah, that's the best thing you could probably get her, right? Like the No, fourth... she was laughing at you. She no, was like, my mom this was no, 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 no. No, my, my mom was not that mom. My mom was awesome. She was like, yes, get, a get super this, today. right? And she goes, I swear to God, my mom was like, yeah. And my mom wrapped it for me and everything. But I get to the birthday party. Oh, I, it was her birthday, so it was a present. Not it was a, a present. A it was a gift. present, yes. It wasn't a yes, gift, yes, okay. Yes, yes. But I'm the douchebag at... 12 11 years old that shows up with the um bottle of perfume bottle of perfume but it was a gift pack kind of one so it had like the lotion and the powder and i don't i don't think it was do. that extensive back then maybe it was but I, I swear to god it probably smelled like um roses i bet yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like it was very floral smelling that was granny's and perfume. i think i got laughed out of the party well, it's good to know that you haven't stopped those kind of behaviors. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Bar Zone with Beth and Greg. I'm Greg, and that's Beth. Hello. Thank you guys for joining. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you know what? We, we got to learn our, we, we take our lumps as we're given yeah. them. <clears throat> but, you know, I buy you perfume. You have to learn this shit. But, but now, you only buy me perfume like once every five years because I hardly ever wear it. <laughs> that's exactly it nowadays. It's like I, I'll buy her a $100 bottle of perfume or whatever they cost. They're all expensive now. And I'll buy you that. And then you're like, Psh. but then again, in your defense, she bought me one. And the only time I wear it is when I go to the office. Yep. But I'm going through it pretty quick now. So mm-hmm. I might need but a see, new. I don't go into the office. And all my lotions I used to use had their own scent. And I'm like, why do I use it when I go to the office? I don't know. It's just a habit. I'm like, I, I put, grab my badge, I put my badge it. on. 
Well, I stopped for a smoke. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I stopped because I got a new truck. I can't smoke in no, it. No, you smoke right before you leave here. Yeah. You get to the office and you you do that. You don't do it in your truck, do you? No. Okay, good. Oh, what? The, the cologne? cologne? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Dude, it's good cologne. I don't even remember what it is. I don't either. I've had it for I a couple it years. that long ago. I've had it for like five or six years. What kind of cologne are you guys wearing? Who else? You said you guys. You got, oh, Alex. Alex. Alex on. Yeah, MC. Hello, my friend. Guys, dude, it's a Friday night. We are <clears throat> T minus like a hundred hours from the uh total eclipse. Yes. Something I took like the that. afternoon off. Hope you guys are preparing for the total eclipse. I love how like everybody thinks it's the end of the world, and mostly because like the devil's comet is also you have all right, so you gotta have the binoculars. For the, to see the devil's comet. Are you gonna take binoculars for us? Yeah, I've got. I've got. You don't even need hot. It can be like kind of like the low whatever. Well, I know you have high end because I bought you some for hunting. Yeah. Well, Christmas. you don't even need like super nice one. You can just have a shitty pair of binoculars to see the devil's okay. comet. Because it's got to be completely. And it's when it's eclipse that you can see it, right? And it's just the. We've got to be eclipsed. The, the corona is gonna be what. And it's gonna be off to the right or left, bit. depending on where you're at. <clears throat> and then we're in San Antonio. That's a stupid way to say it. We are. In San Antonio? Yeah, same thing. But we're gonna we're gonna see it all. We're gonna we're gonna completely eclipse. Total eclipse of the heart. There are people flying in. It's Oh no, they said something like I heard on the news that um I don't I don't watch the news, so I don't know how I heard it, but the like people who like the small business uh association, the like entrepreneurs are gonna like the whole entrepreneur community one point like three billion dollars or something like that so just on this weekend on and that the day. billboards on the highway you know how they have the ones that are like silver alert whatever right now it's all about the solar eclipse what does it say it says be prepared for traffic for the yeah because there's so many eclipse. extra there's going to be like 50 percent extra people in town so thank goodness we don't How live is in it 50 percent i don't be. know i just do that together yeah um but it's going to be something like they're expecting like a shit ton of it's people. It's ridiculous. That's why they're making 1.3 billion extra dollars off this weekend. And it's going to be cloudy as fuck. No, so there will it's be, gonna be cloudy. there's there's a chance that um so the high clouds won't be a problem. It's the low clouds, but like here they might burn off. It's going to it's going to be cloudy. And I'm going to laugh Listen, my God's going to be like off. clean the air. All these people are going to come into San Antonio. Well, so my friend from we'll work, up, dude. my coworker from work, she was She's going to Dallas. That's the game plan right now. If they're from Colorado Springs. They're it's literally to going over our house. Why would she go up to Dallas? It's just Texas in general is going to have a pretty good view. But no, 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 no. She, it's very. Specific. I told her the best view was South Texas Hill Country. My Us. house. Yeah. Um, and she was like, I don't want to drive that far, which I get. It's another she six. Uh, she's outside Colorado Springs. She lives. Oh, up I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So she's already driving like a day's worth. The fact that she's driving anywhere. To see this fucking thing, she tried to get flights. Tickets were ridiculous. The expensive. fact that she was even looking for flights—it's her daughter's 18th birthday, and that's what she wants to do. So they're doing a mother-daughter girls' road trip. That's dumb. It's cute. No, I'm it's sorry. not. I'm sorry. Well, that's because you're a heartless fuck. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm not. It's sweet. It'll happen again in another 77 years. No, I will tell you when it's going to happen again here in a little while. Let's, let's hear about it. All right. Well, so you talk about yours first because right. you have one too. First thing first, we got to, we, I need to show you this. There's this new drink that's come out. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're shying away from the, we're going to get right into that as soon okay. as I show you this because this is a video. And I figured out how to, how Beth and I can actually listen to the audio at the same With time you as you guys. Finally. So there's new drink that's kind of targeted from a marketing perspective at like, Younger 20 somethings, younger 20 something so, women. So less right. savvy, less financially savvy women. Well, no, it's just that it's an Nobody energy. Your money on energy drinks. Well, it's an a en lot of people no, do, fuck I that. No, so I was at the gym the other day, and Cameron, yes, who is my boots on the ground girl, yeah, gave me the insight on this. She goes, It's delicious, it's a creamsicle. They've got several different versions of it. Hi, Nico, right? They got several different versions of this stuff. And it's like a lure or something like that, right? We're going to hear this in a minute. We'll play the video here in a second. Hey, Wilkery. But ultimately, 
what happens in the what, what happened, happened was in this video i think that's so dead and we still do it all what the time. happens in this video is going to make right, a question play the, play the video all right you ready i call this rat in a can grown rat was found in an alani can and i'm so convinced that tiktok is shadow banning this girl's video because alani's threatening lawsuits are you ready brace yourself she starts by showing the alani this is the alani get ready get ready oh can you see inside there all right, so she just got a can opener, bitch. It would have been easier. She had to cut the bottom of it. That's a rat tail. I want to know if she drank it before she realized there was something in it. What's <laughs> up? So, that's a new famous one that Kim Kardashian had actually like partnered with them and they're they're threatening to sue that girl or whatever how are you yeah. gonna sue the girl the girl <laughs> should be suing them so i i <clears throat> the funny part about this this drink is is it's a lonnie and they've got like a bunch of other flavors or whatever but free protein will grease cameron you. goes we just started getting this stuff at the gym because it's like a couple it's like you know 300 oh, milligrams at our yeah they have it's it like the, 300 the milligrams vendors, the vending of, machine yeah of caffeine which is like a it's like a high-end um coffee drink basically a high-end oh, that's a caffeine drink it's, it's a, a lot ca of caffeine yeah, yeah yeah it's a lot of caffeine yeah. Yeah, yeah um but she was looking at it and i was like you drink okay and mm -hmm. then she went and told me the story and i was like I oh that's kind of fucked up right been the same way i'd have been like okay hear anything <laughs> well I, it was more like this. She had like her flashlight on, and I thought she was looking at the rim of it, like to see if it was dirty. Because you know, so that got in there when they were canning it, obviously. Right. Because and she, the girl, couldn't have done it. Like she couldn't have. That thing was too big. Stuck a rat I, or a mouse or what was it? A mouse. A mouse or whatever. Couldn't have stuck a mouse in that hole. I was looking at it. I was like, no, that happened during the process. Yeah, like it fell in from the roof and was like. And it landed in, in the, the can. can. And then, so they make the bottom and of the, the can all one, and then they lit it. Yeah, like Just these. Like, That's what they do with these. We have friends that do. You can see it. Yeah. They have a litting yeah. system. I'm like, that Alani, but she goes, the creamsicle so good that she bought one. She had just chugged one the day before. She said it's nurses are all about it. Like, for some reason, okay. it's a 20-something-year-old girl I don't thing. do energy drinks. They've never I, been my jam. But, the only time I ever did them was when we did those Sunkist Bombers. But I'm going to buy you one no. because well, I'm going to buy you one. Okay. Because you said you like creamsicles. I love creamsicles. Love That's the that. thing. Also so, no, Cameron, thank wait, you for being boots you on the that, ground. Or you can just get me the Wendy's Dreamsicle, which is the orange well, creamsicle. I want to go to Wendy's. Because I know, I know there's not going to be. Fucking Wendy's is. There's one right at the H-E-B Convenience Center the store. On the other. On the, uh, come on. Okay, you're the one that's all situational awareness, bitch. That Wendy's is right oh, there in the corner. Oh, at, uh, literally attached to the HEB. Yes. I just go there to get beer and. I know, but it's the, literally attached gas. right at the corner. So there's an HEB. I Rotato, mean, a Wendy's. Red Bull. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Well, it wasn't a rat, though. It was a mouse. So wouldn't it be. Musio Red Bull. Musio Bull. That sounds like some sort of a mm -hmm. Harry Potter thing. Like it's going to be a. I'm just saying. It, it it could have, but I guarantee, Sorry. like it's happened to a million companies out there. But this one's what? kind of like a million companies out there. Oh, there's. I know this isn't the first time somebody's found a rat in a can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely not. So I just That'd figured be a great name for a band: Rat in the Can. Rat in the Can. It's better than mice in a can. But is that like a um, it's a punk rock band? No, it's a hair metal band. No, from, I don't do hair metal. It, but it's rock. a cover band from the eighties. Oh, who? The, the, oh. It's the hair. It's so they're rat, covering like it's literally they're rat covering rat cover band, and they're covering. Are they covering other people? They call them rat can. What if you're a fan? Then are you a rat canner? A ratter? Oh, you, I, a rat tail? Now you're a rat tailor. 
Rat Tail. What? You're the one that grew up with all that shit. What I is didn't it? listen to hair bands in the 80s. What did you listen Depeche to? Depeche Mode or Die. No. Oh. Um, I listened to like Depeche Mode, Madonna, Duran Duran. Frankie does Hollywood. Nobody, you nobody, people nobody's before I hated them. This knows even what you're talking about. Oh. Can you do the, uh, door? just give, tell um, people where to go. We got somebody at our door. Um, you should yell coming. I just don't even know why we would have a, a front door visitor. You better look through that went that peephole before you open the door. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wasn't, a, I wasn't a hairband girl. Nope. Wasn't, wasn't. Okay. So I'm going to talk about. Uh, it's a solicitor, it sounds like. Mickey. My guard dog. My guard dog. Was it was it Mormons? Mama, was it Mormons? No, it's a pest control guy. Oh, we already have pest control. Like on And he said, I can come back later. And I heard you go, nope. He doesn't know, but who really comes to a house at 7 30 on a Friday? 7 30 on a Friday. Get the fuck out of my neighborhood, cunt. Actually, you can mark it till nine, but who does that on a Friday? Uh, the worst part was my dog barked. Now he's going to cough. Yeah, both of our dogs have coughs now. <laughs> they sound like me. Candle cough. You know what? It's all good. Let's jump into some stories. Total eclipse of the heart. Yes, so tell me yours first. Come Monday. All right, you ready? So yeah, yours. mine, mine is more of a follow-up. So mine is literally the conspiracy theories that are going That's on. That's what I want to hear. I All do right. want to hear this. They part. believe the upcoming solar eclipse will start a massive human sacrifice event. Do you think that could happen, honey? Say again? Just well, do a God. massive sacrifice event? Um, stranger things have happened on eclipses. Uh, stranger Just, things have happened outside of non eclipses. Do you guys think that? I don't think that because there aren't any huge cults right now that are in the media. What, everybody's flying to fucking San Antonio to go see a goddamn. No, so it's gonna. There's, I think there's like New York is one of the places that we'll see the total eclipse. Oh, I've got a picture of it too. New York. Oh shit! I didn't send it. Of what? Picture of what? Can you send me? Can you hook me up with a clicker thingy? Never mind. Whoop, Never mind. Maybe. It's not gonna work. What but do you have this crossroad of? thing that's gonna happen? Where I'll explain here. All right, you ready? Just when you think you've heard it all, conspiracy theorists. Find new things to be concerned about. And this is the solar eclipse. March 8th, the moon will pass between the sun and the earth, which is Monday. The what? Oh, the moon, yes. Right. Completely obstructing our view and of it and casting a dark shadow on the planet. It will get dark, they said. It's going to get dark. During For four minutes. Any one eclipse totality only occurs in a narrow track right over our house. I have the time frame. I have all Fuck of earth. it. This is known as the path of totality. 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 While total or solar eclipses happen every 18 months or so, they typically recur at any given pace only once every 360 to 410 years over the same exact spot on the Earth. Like say where that, it literally say that whole happens. Again. Say that whole sentence so again. basically, while total solar eclipses happen every 18 months or so, they typically recur at any given pace, place only once every 360 to 410 years, where they actually are totality. To right, it's actual. Totality like we had in not, one in October. It wasn't a total eclipse. No, it was exactly. a passing. And it's left conspiracy theorists believing that the upcoming event will cause a massive human sacrifice. So dun, dun, dun. I do know, like, um, one of our friends was saying that there's emotional damage. A solar flare, I guess, could happen. Good. Um, All right. Ready? Yeah. One user on Reddit's our conspiracy thread explained that because you, you should listen overlay to the on path of the totality of the total solar eclipse from 2017 to that due next week, the paths, the two paths form an X. Near the Madrid fault line. Okay. Something were to trigger that fault line. Something man-made they could make look completely natural. Oh, so they're saying it wouldn't be like a cult sacrifice. It'd be like, you just died because somebody decided you were going to die. They could nuke us all. Fucking could Here's happen, bro. Thing. People literally lose sleep. Like crazy people, paranoid people literally lose sleep because of this. Yeah. 
An earthquake on a nat- on the New Madrid fault line could be up to 20 times larger than any earthquake with a SoCal epicenter. What's funny is there was just literally like a 4.6 oh, earthquake in, in on the East Coast. You know what? I did see a video of a kid that was I playing was. the guitar, and it did sound kind of weird. Like, it sounded like a crush- can being crushed. Well, that's what they sound like. I really like. don't think you need a hard AF. Oh, it's the pina colada. Penis colada. I did not like, I don't like it. Pour in the rain. Mm. They're so good. Is it cold? Yeah, it's been in the fridge. You want to taste? Mm. I, I'm probably not going to like it any better than I liked it the first time. At least this time it's cold. Pina colada. We just started getting them down here in. It's not um, bad. It's probably the least alcohol y flavored one. It is. But give it, wait till the second drink, and you'll be like, no, it's not. Oh, you left some lipstick behind. Well, you know. So, um, what other conspiracy theory? Nope. That, this That's, is the big one. Oh. An earthquake. I already said that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, of course, the two paths crossing uh, years apart is about to make a meaningful, uh, is about to, is about as meaningful as your running route looking like the shape of a dog on Strativa. I don't That's know what that stupid. means. Stupid. I, I didn't write this article. I know. Somebody should be slapped. Yeah. But it's not that wild. <clears throat> there is a ring of fire theory. Burning that the ring whole of fire. ring of fire around. Like, it's called the corona. When the moon gets in front of the sun and you just see the outer ring, it's called What the are you going to do? If planes just start falling out of the sky. Go in my house. Not really a lot I can do. Let's go back to work. No, like, I'm not, eh. I, took, I took the afternoon off. I'll just sit you on the couch. You take the whole afternoon off? Mm-hmm. I only took a couple hours. Because well, you're a loser and I'm smarter than you. Um, I'm off at 1230. So that's Mine. basically that's basically the gist of it. So <clears throat> there, there is was talk. So you remember the whole point where they're going to try and set off. The people are conspiracizing. How did the word? Is that a word? I don't know. Just made Conspiracy it one. thizing. I mean, go that, with it. That's where they're going to set. They're going to detonate. <laughs> People are going to start dying from there. Directed so energy. So, are they going to have a bomb in the you know oh, what? energy weapon? Best weapons. thing to do this weekend is paint your to house go blue. paint your house blue. Your roof, not your house. Your, well, roof. your roof. Yeah, absolutely. Just go paint your roof blue. But you got to do it before it's Monday. It's ridiculous that I know that. And I hate conspiracies, but I was like, I know all about the blue roof shit. Um, so other ones I've heard is solar flare, so it'll kill shit. Like people will get stranded. Well, that's what happened um, the other day, like well, two weeks ago, right? Th- no, it was like a month and a half ago with the phone, cell phones. Here's the crazy thing. So it wasn't. It, they were fucking. Mine worked. Well, because you have an older one. Well, it's not that old. It's only like a t- twelve. So it's like a four-year, a three-year-old phone. Yeah. It paid out in dividends. I if guess. You didn't and have I, well. I have other. I have old phones. Well, supposedely it was just AT and T and Sprint customers that. What's going to happen? Because with Ian this didn't. I don't think Ian lost solar eclipse. I don't think Ian lost cell We're service. But you did. The Benzaquins all did. <clears throat> People from work I, that I know from work, a lot of them lost it. Not me. Old phone bitches. <laughs> Fucking MC. Hashtag vote blue, no matter who. I'd rather get run over. It is what it is. And I'd rather get Okay, run let's over. get into yours. So some mine of your, is. Uh, yeah, it's my yours. Sorry, stories. guys. <laughs> I had such a great morning. I didn't cough. I had no like. Wheezing. And then the out, and then the wind picked up because we're getting ready to and have now more storms. I sound I was so nice for like six hours. It was the best I've I've had. It was the best breath I've had in months. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably should use my inhaler before I came up. Oh, here, you got the but, New York. We got these New Yorkers update. These inmates. No, no, no. So I got a couple of things. Okay. So right. um, tw- the solar eclipse 2024, six reasons why this spe- year's spectacle is set to be the best in hundreds of years. Okay. So a complete solar eclipse we all know is about to occur, right? And we'll have gazillions looking up, preparing, um, gazing to the sky to wonder about the rare phenomenon. So if you realize how uncommon, that's why it's weird that you said 2017, um, and special this event will be on April 8th, millions of people in northern Mexico, the U.S., and southern Canada, I'm sorry, southeast Canada, will experience totality, darkness during the day, and the opportunity to glimpse the sun's corona 
See what I learned? Yeah. Uh, with a naked eye. <clears throat> this is the reason why it might be the greatest of hundreds of years and a very long time to come, according to space.com. Space.com. So since 1806, this is what's crazy. Since 1806, this will be the longest total solar eclipse to occur in the U.S. A really long because time. it's going across the entire well it's going from coming out of mexico and going like yeah cutting the country I, I, in half, but basically. 1806 that's crazy to me i mean they didn't have the special glasses back then what do you think they did so how many years that's 200 and like hashtag math 15 years it. something like that hashtag huge you calculator eight, eight, 1806 yeah something like that um so the eclipse will last <coughs> for four minutes and 28 seconds um, that will decrease as the moon's dark center shadow accelerates and stretches as it moves from southwest to northeast. But four minutes and 26 seconds is feasible around the border between the United States and Mexico. So we will get to see all if the clouds participate properly. Four minutes and 26 seconds. People are flying into this fucking state. Flying in everywhere. To spend there's, four there's certain, minutes and 26 seconds. Well, so, I'll, and I have it, I have it, I'll tell you, like, all the whole, the whole thing runs from, like, 1230 to 255. It's dumb. Something like that, or 155, one of the two. But um, the previous total solar eclipse of this length to occur in North America took place on June 16th, 1806. Yeah. When it swept across Albuquerque, Kansas City, Cleveland, Boston, on its way to Baja, California, to the Cape Cod. It's kind of weird. That's what it says. From Baja, they California to Cape Cod. Oh, from ba it started in Baja and went to Cape Cod. Yes. <clears throat> it lasted four minutes and 55 seconds. Um, let's see. So Darkness at News started as a promotional tool for its among Bostonians. That's kind of funny. Um, let me tell you this. This What else? Um, uh, so the other thing was anyone who's ever witnessed the solar corona at totality with their unaided eye knows that it is always an absolute breathtaking sight. I I thought you couldn't look at these things with your naked eye. Once it's completely blocked out, you can look at it. Well, because I remember being You're as a kid. You're not supposed to look at the sun. I remember being as a kid, they were like, if you look at it, you'll go blind. Yeah, well, you'll get the, if you look at it you too. You get the sunspots. Just like anything. You, you can look at the sun for a second. Well, nobody really should. But it's you very can. Bright. You can look at the sun for but a second. You wouldn't really, so you won't go you wouldn't blind. You like wouldn't it with your eyes. So then why are there special glasses? Because they're because like you want sunglasses. To be able to, because with it blocks like a, the UV. So the UV. So The UV is what burns your eyeballs out. So basically I could put my brightness. old school nope. um, oh, no, 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 Ray-Bans no, no. on? No, no, no. no. Oh. The UV and the brightness. So you need UV protection plus the brightness, and it brings it down, and then you can watch it. But... The, so, oh, you be, no, I'm thinking, um, what is, what is it that polar, polarized Oh, no, no, lenses? You're pol no okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Your polarized glasses would not. But um, you can look at the sun for a second, but then you walk around with, like, those fucking spots, like, a, like with the lights, you know what I mean? You look at them for yeah, too long. Yeah, like, yeah, and then God, everybody's but... face is just a bright spot. Yeah. Which is weird, because it's always just, like, the place you're looking at in the center, but you can see everything around it. So you're like, oh, you're just a sunspot. Um, so, um, let's see, hold on. So this was the case. Okay. So hold on. This answers the question. Cause I was like 2017. I thought it was supposed to be really long between these things. So it says well, that was a partial. Oh, it was, it was a partial well, what eclipse. happened in October? Was that partial? Those partial eclipse as well. Okay. So, this is a totality eclipse, like where it completely blocks it. So the star appears uneven and prickly during solar minimum, the period of time when it's Magnetic activity is at its lowest in approximately 11 year cycle. Okay. I don't know what I think any that's of that the, means. That's, I think that's the partial. Okay. So, mm. but no, they say 17th was a total solar eclipse. No. <clears throat> anyway, so. I'm bored with this one. You're can, fine. You're just going to wait. Into New you're York just going to wait. To those prisoners. You're going you're gonna to uh, wait. I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go. You're going to wait. I am waiting. Because I've done that to you before and you're like, just let me finish. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find where it says the next one will be. So hold on. 700 years from no, now. No, seriously. It's like, we won't be alive. Well, no. Yeah, it's like literally like 70 something years. Oh, this, uh, <clears throat> this is the other thing. There's also a slim chance on uh, uh, April 8th during totality that the comet might be seen. Turn on so your the, light over there. The devil's comet. No, it's down on the floor. Um, the devil's comet will be viewable. That's what we already talked about. Not on this. We talked about that outside. You were the one saying we just needed bi uh, bifocals. We literally just talked about that a few minutes ago. No, we did it. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, 
That's had three drinks. It's good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm eating, eating less. Nice. I'm eating less because I'm I'm trying to be healthy. Good. Only smoked two cigarettes tonight. I'm on my way to quitting. All right, we're done with this. <clears throat> okay, so when the we'll, New York fuck cards are are able, it had a date in there. Like the next one won't be until like twenty four sixty or something yeah, like yeah. that. Whatever, you're all gonna be dead. We're, we're gonna, all be, gonna dead. be dead. We're gonna hope doesn't we're dead. Matter. We're gonna have seven generations between <laughs> us and then. Right, it doesn't matter. So, but I you had a... want to wear like a robe. Um, so Womb said, she said something about wearing something, but I was thinking about Wait, like what? putting like a robe and like walking out into that in over into the neighborhood and being like pretending to like pray. have your arms in, That's in, what I'm the, saying. Exactly. in the yeah, 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 yeah. and like just like the big dark robe and just like bring like a fucking big ass can't and do something. I I swear to God. I was looking up chance. I swear to God, I was looking up chance. Chance, not chance. Ch okay. Not ch like chant. Right? Where I was trying to find something that we could come into the show with and have like the lights down, but I was like, we just ran out of time. Where it was going to be like, oh. I'm going to hey, hey, Right? And something like that. And, and then somewhere in. in there, just say amen and then start yeah. all over yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> that's exactly how I feel. Some people feel, uh, I think some people feel about Boom said, thing. I like how people think the world is going to end because it's over the US and not anywhere else. Yeah, of course it's not anywhere else. It's fucking amazing. Like people are just fucking. And retarded. MC said, sun gazing is a meditation technique. I'm not going to try any technique that makes me perennial. Perennium gazing is a good thing. Isn't that your butthole? Well, it's your taint. In your bottle. Everything south of, I think it's everything south. Could be part so of So you were going to talk first about the inmates asking. No, you just, no, 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 no. So you, you, there, this is your as story. you guys probably knew, there was uh, some in, inmates that were saying Up their New York. constitutional yeah. rights were being violated. Was, <laughs> dang it. Do you have your inhaler up here? Nope. Um, we're being violated because they're doing a lockdown on on the prisons in new york right all the prisons not just like so one. now they're allowed to go see but you don't need to go too deep no so but here's what new my, york's such a fucking here's what state. my thing was so they they took it they, they went to court and they ended up like meeting in the middle um there was only six people by the way new york and just like california just there were six people that had a prisons. problem with it and here's what is weird it's um so the six people were suing the state's correction department over a planned lockdown during the total eclipse. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So they filed a lawsuit today in federal court or last Friday in federal court um, that said that the lockdown, which would have permitted or prevented many statewide inmates from witnessing Monday's solar eclipse, constituted a violation of religious right. Get fucked. For many, this is what's funny, the eclipse is a moment of monumental religious significance that cannot be overlooked or dismissed out of hand. According to the lawsuit, which listed six plaintiffs of the various of various religions. Here's what's crazy. So one is a Baptist. Okay. One is a Muslim. A no. Seventh-day Adventist, uh, Ad, Ad, Adventist. Advantage taker. Adventist. Two Santeria practicers and an atheist. How the fuck is it a religion if you're atheist? Because... Don't, not, atheists yeah, don't they, believe they don't in believe religion, religion, right? Or they should not believe in God. Nope, they don't believe in God. <laughs> so, so my question is this. Did, does it also tell you what their charge is and why they're in prison? Yes. No, no. But, but see, in my head, I was like, well, they shouldn't have. You're convicted have, fucking murderer. They shouldn't have regular rights. Get they're in prison. Um, but so let me tell you the reasons why they say these are all um, religious reasons. So. Take that shit off, honey. Take that shit off. Talk a little bit because I have to find it. Because they all they all have their very specifics on why it's a religious it, no, yeah, event. It, yeah, it doesn't. Um, some of it they claim the darkness is in the Bible. The Baptist said it, the Bible specifically talks about the darkness of an eclipse. Um, a Muslim, the Muslim person said it had something to do with the sun of the main guy in in the Muslim religion. Allah. I don't, I don't know that it said Allah, but it did have his name out there. Isn't that the top Ooh. dog? I don't know. Um, and then uh, for the Santeria people, it was there's specific. They're the Day of the Dead guys, right? That's like Mexico. No, they're not. 
Yeah, yes. I mean, but right. all of Mexico's Day of the Dead it has nothing or to do with religion. What Santeria mean? Santeria is like the practice of like white magic. Witchcraft? I think. Yeah, white. That's wh the people that like, if, it's white if or somebody's black possessed, magic. that they like do the egg thing and put it under your bed. And um, <clears throat> so. All right. So basically. And the atheist said it was. New York just fucking the folded. The atheist said that it wasn't. Well, it wasn't a religious reason. It was a natural occurring phenomenon in his world of spiritualness. He should fuck off because he's in prison for a reason. All those fucktards well, are in prison in for a reason. Well, in Christianity, the darkness described in the Bible as accompanying Jesus' crucifixion. So that's where they say, like, when Jesus was crucified, that's when the sun was blocked out. And so they all have, I like, care. this shit. You so don't those deserve six to people, see these Nobody things. else in the prison but those six people get to go outside and see the eclipse. None of it. Only those six people. Oh, that's so. That's super awesome. Well, and like I said, you know, in my mind, I'm I like, think they should let like prison, two of the other people out. Maybe four right. of them out. The other ones, like super You're violent ones, for a they can just come out and like give them all shivs and just like let them take care of those people. Oh, here we go. You found God, and then you're gonna exploit God so in the, one the way. Or another. is the darkness in the of the crucifixion. The Muslim sacrifice, uh, sacred works similarly describe the passing of the prophet Muhammad, Muhammad's son. So that's where it ties in for the Muslim. Muhammad. Muhammad's the passing of his son. Um, Santeria <laughs> says, also traces historical ties to chanting rituals Shanks. performed yes, during a solar Shiv, eclipse. Shanks, whatever. And the atheist said an eclipse may not be time for worship, but still a time to marvel about the natural, natural wonders of the universe. They can all fuck off. You're in a prison... And you should be locked they down. They said the inmates like are asking for the most hum of human shit. of things. No, fuck off. And they gave in. Yeah, because it's New York. New York's a pile of shit. Like, dude, New York is beautiful. Like, Albany, upstate, beautiful. I've only been to Lake George. Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. You never want to live there. Not anymore. I still want to go. 20 years ago, you might want to live there. I still want to go to... To the the Times Square. Times Square. I'm never going there. You're gonna yeah, go on I'll, your own. I'll go with a girls' trip then. Yeah. Because I would like to go. And you might get shivved. Shit. Get shivved. You might. You don't know. You can't guarantee that. It could happen in Iosa. What the fuck are you talking about? That's why I carry <gasps> guns. You can't guns, carry guns, baby. At Niosa. I'm just kidding. But you can. That's why I don't go to Niosa either. Well, you've been crying about it for five years. I so we're going. We this go time. during the day. We're not we going don't go the at day. night. We're going at night. No, we're not going at night. We're going at night. We go during the day when we have. This year, we're going at night with a bunch of people. We have upset. So that you can stop crying awareness. about not, said the man who didn't know there was a Wendy's at the end of the convenience store. Um, don't judge me. That you go to about five times a week, by the way. Three times. Okay, three times a week. What, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday? Let's jump into some other fun stuff. Words you should never Google. So just be aware, we spent a half hour talking about the we god talked about a lot. damn. Not just the eclipse. We talked about a lot. Eclipsing. Total All right. eclipse Real of the quick. heart. What? Going back to the eclipse thing. Oh, see, you wanted to leave it. Now you're what going back. If you have a baby, like you can, is it conception? He's going to be Damien. During the eclipse. Not, not conception, birth. No, 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 not oh, birth. You're talking about I'm talking conception? about conception. You make the baby. You know, there's dirt. a new omen out now, right? It's called the first omen, and it looks scary AF. Does, but does it, it did, did they conceive during an, a full? I don't know. What if you're on that dot in the middle of the. And you're having so a wild literally, crazy there's sex. a map out there. I'll put What if you could be the. What if you had the. Where it convenes. What, what if it's not a demon, but Jesus? So the second coming and, of Jesus is. And happening. there's other things where it's supposed to go through, like all these biblical <clears throat> towns. The what? Oh it's yeah, supposed to go through these. That's what you were supposed to talk about, and you didn't. I, well, it's not on my story, so sorry. You had it last week, and you yeah, said, "Hold on funny. to it." You told me, "Hold on to it." We're Wait. gonna do this. I'm just saying. Just um. Saying. <clears throat> so, words you shouldn't say. Okay. You shouldn't. Maybe lose my train of thought. You ready? Yep. Nye. Monty Python. Google warns users to not look up these words. Some of them I've heard of. A few of them I haven't. Okay. Do you want to look them up? You, I, I, this is forewarning. Can like, I look them up on DuckDuck? Like you, pull, yeah, you, you can, but you're not. I don't think you're going to enjoy <clears throat> these words. Oh, then I'm not going to look. These are. Are you going to tell me what they mean? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give oh, you. Then why would I look them up? I'm just telling you. Why would you, you set me up like well, that? Well, I was kind of trying to get a, like a real time reaction out of you, but I, I also. All right, fine. All right, you ready? Not yet. All right. So there's certain words that like the 2024 Google searches is like, hey, be cautious of. Okay. Larvae. L a r v e. L a r v a e. To kick things off, it's pretty simple. So as you can imagine, some it's a form of insect. Yep. <clears throat> Especially one that differs greatly from. But you the have adult. to look up mouth larvae. Oh, you didn't say the mouth part. I'm sorry, I forgot the mouth part. Mouth larvae. So mouth larvae is slightly different. It's also known as oral myasis. Myasis. How's it look? Uh, I'm just gonna see if they'll give me an image. Do you want? Do you <laughs> want a? Uh, do you want a? Not yet. I don't have it. Um, the one didn't have images available because that bad. Mouth larvae, lar. V a e, v a l a, l a r v a e. So I mean, if it doesn't work, doesn't work. We'll move on to the next one because the next one is fucked. Oh, oh, oh no! That's so. I right, see. I've so never bad. I've never seen it. Oh yeah. Um. You just take it, cause I, nope. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm having nightmares about that. Look at the one in the upper left hand corner. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, they're 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 even nope. hidden. Nope, nope, no more. One was all I needed. Okay, that's fair. Can you get rid of it before you give it back? Uh, it's only gonna get worse. Okay, I'm not looking them up then. Ugh. I'll look them up for you. Roll hand. <laughs> all right. So the next wow. one. Have you ever heard of degloving? Was that when you remove the skin off a chicken? Okay, so there's a thing that happens. Just give me it. You can't do both. There's a thing that happens. When you take the skin off a chicken? Well. Am I kind of right? Kind of. All right, so look up degloving. Here, I will look it up, and then I will give These it to you. These are things you definitely cannot share. <laughs> no, you're just going to have to do it for me, because i got to read this stuff. It. Um, all right, so this is what you might picture as somebody being peeled human being i'm not gonna look at it because this is what the definition says happens when a large piece of your skin along with a layer of soft tissue so just hit image <clears throat> just look at it oh no you have to like ha hit one. Oh, that some of these won't let you view it because it's that bad <clears throat> oh it's because you got it on safe mode no i don't yeah yeah i guarantee your fucking shit's on safe mode i don't think so do you look at porn on that no it's on safe mode so, it's contained Womb said that's why he never wears jewelry. <gasps> <laughs> All right. So, so bad. So, it's the same logic as if, <laughs> yep, that's degloving. Just don't point it towards the. No, to the, I'm yeah, getting rid of it. But it's the same logic as if, like, no. two Womb's point is what if. What did he say? If he, he goes, that's why he doesn't wear jewelry. Especially if you're in, like, a, like, we're in an office. We don't have to worry about that. But if you're in like a, yeah, a trade trade where you work in special <laughs> machinery or something like that, not you don't wear anymore. He like, was enough. like a rubber, rubber I ring or again. something like that. Like your whatever. That's fine. Yeah. But like a metal, like would you're... literally like just rip your finger off. Right. Or it would strip it off or you wear a watch. I'm, I'm, just I'm, love you. I'm, I'm scarred. We're not done. I'm not looking anymore. All right, so this next one is an interesting one. But it's Moving like a swiftly traffic. on, it's like I can't look. Searching not look. for the word. You ready? I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. K R O K O D I L. Crocodile. Crocodile. So this it's slang for the lethal street drug, which is yeah. scientifically known as desomorphine. <clears throat> Which is used as a cheap alternative to heroin and creates a scaly zombie. Cro crocodile can cause severe skin damage for users, such as ulcers, infections, and even gangrene. Why did you find this story? It just popped up. So, did you I'm scared. This, did you hit go? No. I is mean, it? I hit it with the definitions. So, hit <clears throat> images. Let's see it. Well, I need, uh, we need, you have to look at it because you have to get me a picture. Just go ahead. We're good. You just click on it. I can't. Those first two were horrific. Oh. If you click on it, then it says view, and you can view it. Oh. 
Oh yeah, yeah. That's not that. that this looks like a burn victim. That's fine. That's easy. That's easy going. That that one's fucking safe. Yeah, that's easy going. Mm -hmm. It's not D. What do you call it? Gloved. Cool. Right next. Fournier. I'm just telling you guys, like, do not. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You're you're all men. Spell it. Or women. F O R N I E R. Dan Green, I'm not looking at that. Talk that shit. <laughs> nope. Bring it over here. So this is a rare and life-threatening bacterial infection, which destroys your soft tissue, <clears throat> requires immediate treatment unless you're able to whatever. So I'm sorry I can't show these. Nor should he. They're bad. Ooh, that one. Nope. Not that good. one's that one's rough. And that one is called um Fournier. Oof. Please exit out. View. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. All right. I don't know how to exit. Go to anything besides images. Go to the top right. I, I closed it. All right. Lastly, I don't know if it's lastly. This is called Harlequin Ichthyosis. You ready? You know how to spell Harlequin? H A R L E Q U I N. Another word or same word? In space, ichthyosis. It's I C H T H Y O S I S. And you guys can play along with this. Oh, Harlequin. genetic disorder that affects the skin. Yeah. So it <clears throat> comes out as a diamond shaped plates that resemble fish scales. Oh, okay. So I don't think this Kids, one's as. Uh, is it says infants with this condition are born prematurely with very hard, thick skin covering most of their bodies. I'm not going to look at it. Let's see it. Come on, baby. I, this one's not as bad. It fucking can't be, right? Those two, first two, wrecked me, dude. Wrecked oh, me. Oh, yeah. It just, like, it just looks like a little alien. Do they outgrow it? If I could share that picture with you, which I will not do, I don't think so. Is that little baby's eyeballs look like they're popping out? I of didn't his head. even look at it that good. I just exited out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so five terms not to I mean, look up let's on not the do this internet. kind of story again and have me look at it because now I'm like, it really, uh, that, that was the whole idea of me doing this story is like, I really wanted you to, to see your mm -mm. reaction. Like, I was very uncool. There are things that happen in this world, honey. That I'll deal with them when they happen. I don't need to go looking for the them. The end of the world is nigh. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. You don't know. You don't know. Listen, I'm not going to deal with any of that shit because if it's the end of the world, I'm locking myself in my house. Are you? And eating rice. <laughs> I hope you, and that brings us to our next sponsor, Rice, made from China. Not you wrong. Know, just go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of rice, dude. I, don't, I, don't I mean, you could live off it if you needed 75 to. 75% off if you steal it. Buy a bunch of a butter so actually you can throw be 100 percent off if you just go in there and steal it throw some butter in there it's like you're in heaven you salt, won't even know it's the end of the world little salt little pepper jasmine rice is the go-to jasmine rice, is dude. the jam jasmine rice i don't know why it's so good i guess it's got a little i don't understand how it tastes so different than regular rice dude what's your rice go-to definitely jasmine we do white rice I, we're and done sticky with rice we do, we're done uh, with the Jap brown uh, with rice Chinese we don't food. do brown rice anymore you know i tried why suffer <clears throat> Yeah, and we're not doing brown rice. Anymore. I'd just rather not eat it then. Jasmine rice, on the other hand. Jasmine rice and a steak, you don't get too full, mm -mm. but you get the, the calories you need. Yeah. So, our plug I mean, to the jasmine rice industry. He's not a nutritionalist, but we'll go with what he says. Fuck it, whatever. Um, I want to hear grading scales in California. I still need no, time. No, you've got I woman's need life hack. I need time. You have wrecked me, dude. That was horrible. Like just, like I threw up in my mouth. Okay, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. So just you're gonna have to see this on the screen. This is literally just something I saw, right? And it's just grading skills. I don't have a story behind this. It is grading skills in California, and they this was somebody's post. But the idea behind these fucking grading skills, I was like. California is going full fucking retard. I was an 84 and A. Okay. You ready? Public, if you can't, 
So if you're listening, sixty four is a let me, B. Let me read through the let me oh. read through the range. Okay. So public school and grading then we wonder why American kids are so is stupid. Facebook that, post but. by California parent an A equals is between eighty four percent and hundred percent. So one hundred to eighty four. A B is eighty four percent to sixty four percent. And what's an F? Oh my Hang gosh. On. A C is a 64 to a 44 percent. A D is a 44 to a 24. And an F is a 24 so to So here's zero. what I'm going to say. Like, we always talk about you the educational You are raising system. your kids in California to be complete fucking retards. You're just, you're, 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 they're. Uh, and we have friends in California. You're raising your kids to not make it into college. Because while this may be no, your California rating, I mean, hold, you on, college? hold on, hold on. This may be your California rating, but no university college no. or junior college is going to take a kid. I don't even care if they make. I don't even want them to go. That's to what college. I'm saying. That's how I gonna... want you to be able to read and write. So th th we have this whole thing about like um, American kids are becoming dumber and dumber. They are like, and this is just proof proving in... the point. Yeah. Like, who would so... think that an 84 <laughs> is an A? Like, that's like the participation award. You, you nailed it. You nailed it. You fucking nailed it. Hey, you tried. You got a 40. You got a C. Woo! But there, that's, it's just, it's a pipeline to, all right. So if you remember a long time ago, this would be like a Joe Biden fucking Kamal Harris thing. It's a pipeline to criminality. Never heard this. A dumb population does dumb things. Right. Right. You become criminals. You go with the easiest thing to do. Well, if you're dumb, you can't make money the normal way. You have to find a way to work the system. You cheat the system. You beat yeah. the system. You break the system. Listen. This is okay. the dumbest fucking thing. Here's the thing that's really sad already. So okay. these kids are already making these great, these percentage points. They're just trying to, like, dumb it down a little for them. That's why there's already so much crime in California and homelessness and shit. Because this is already happening. They're just trying to get the grade now I will to reflect tell you the percentage of the masses. I was not a good student. I, I, I admit it. I just wasn't a good student. I don't even remember if I was a good student no, in high school. I barely, I had, dude, I barely got out of high school. How'd you get into college? I'll tell you how. I'll tell you my journey. Here's my quick no, one minute, one minute journey. You don't know how to do that. I went through, I, well, I had a lot of shit going on in my life. I was a troubled teen. Not that troubled. I was like, well, I just didn't like high school. My brother was there. My brother, uh, the brother had died. I was like, fuck all you guys. I want to skateboard and I want to work and I want to make money. And that's what I did. And then I went to school as an aside. Basically. Okay. Um, but I failed several classes. I Which would, is ridiculous because you're really fucking smart. But I feel, I feel like, dude, I. Because you're wicked fucking smart. But you also, okay, so there's also still things about me that. I'm not smart about like grammar sucks for me for everyone. Yeah, no, but like I failed <laughs> English. English is stupid. They and got I failed, they got like I failed a couple the, of classes. Do you remember like when you used to have to write a sentence and then you had to like put the diagram? It, it was, it was, right. nobody does that. So Just I did all those things the and then I, I went to summer school, failed summer school one time. Right. And I had to go back. Ultimately I had to go back for my, my second senior year. Got it done. Because got it you are always out. tardy. That's the ridiculous part. It wasn't even that you weren't that smart. You were just always late. I never replied still myself because I was always You're doing always other things. You're always getting out of bed at the like, last minute. Yeah, 100%. Always getting out of bed at the last minute. To this day, it, 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 right? You get so mad at me, but I'm the adult in the house. I'm like, babe, it's 9. You got to be at work at 9.30. Babe, it's 9. Oh, God. How tired it is. All right. So that started that same thing that happened literally this morning. Has been my entire life. Like, Actually, always. this morning, you got up on your own. I was very impressed. Last two days, you've gotten up at, like, yesterday you got up at, like, 8.15. But nonetheless, that is, like, my thing. I hate mornings. And my mom was the same way. My brother is the same way. My brother was in the fucking Marines, right? And he's like, I fucking want to murder everyone, right? But he had to do it because he was a fucking Marine. But no. Okay, so long story short. Get out of high school. Still do well. Go to college. Went to. Do you go to a junior college first? Is that I how you got into ASU? College, Franklin Pierce, up in New Hampshire. 
Went to and then moved out to Arizona. You must went, have been good on your test. That's I why. did really good on my yeah. test. See, I told you. And then went hot. to Scottsdale Community College for a year, got okay. in-state tuition, then went to Arizona State and got out of there. Okay. And then a few years later, went and got my master's. Like, right? But all of that to be said, the, these fucking scores are fucking retarded. This is just a parent's suggestion, right? This isn't no, what's going to happen. Well, Dude, is Because if that's the case and you live in California, you should definitely send your kid to private school. You should fucking be moving the fuck. I I have a, like, one of my best friends. MC said Semper. Who makes so much money in California and everything. I'm like, <laughs> how are you still living in California, bro? Well, right? he said he failed English a few times, too. Dude, it's just part of it. Like, you want me to tell you what an adverb is? No, can't do it. Like, what are the other ones? An adverb is... What's a pronoun? It's the same thing as a noun, but smaller case. I don't know. I made that up. But um, <laughs> okay. an, an so adjective is the John descriptor. John goes to the store. Okay. John is the noun. Okay. Pronoun, I think, is at the store. No idea. The adjective is the goes. That's why I said all you have to teach kids is where the commas go. I know where the commas go. I taught myself. I have such a hard time with commas. I'm like, oh, wait. Because I do. My life was a little weirder than a lot of people's lives when Not I was really. a kid. No, I just didn't pay attention in school. I was in art and I was skateboarding and I was doing all these other things. And I knew what I wanted to do. I liked math and I liked certain things. Mm, and sucks. But like, fuck. But I like working. I love working. Wait till you have to conjugate. What's con what's conjugating again? Isn't that combining <laughs> words? Isn't that like can't? I'm 47 years old and I couldn't hey, tell Siri, you. Hey what is a conjugate? Conjunctivitis. I know what that is. It's That's that shit that gets in your eyes. Form in grammar. Okay. What? So what? Okay. What? <laughs> Nico said that's not fair. Best first language was Spanish. <laughs> No, that it was really was. That's how she talked to the fucking nannies. That's my first language was Spanish, but um, congregation is the change of a verb form in grammar. I don't even know what that means. Bacterial conjugation. I think I need to genetic. go back to English. Class. Listen, that's why I, they they spend so much time teaching you all these like. But you know what I can do? Wait. I can write in cursive, bitch. Can Show you, me a kid that can write. Can in you cursive. write in cursive? Oh, I can absolutely. I'm, is it legible? A hundred percent. I've can, seen your writing. It's on the piece of paper downstairs. I can absolutely write in cursive. I have never in my, well, you know what? I take that back. You were taught cursive. A hundred percent. You cursive. were taught cursive. You were taught cursive. I don't write cursive. I write no, a combo no, of print and cursive. But you can. If you were to sit down and be like, you know how to do an F. Cursive you'd be is like, overrated. Oh, fuck. How do I do an F? And you'd be like, oh, here it is. Or a Z in cursive. Well, a Z, I don't. What's a Z in cursive? It's over here, and you come across. No, I just do a Z. No, the, in cursive. I don't know how to do a Z you do, in cursive. You do, you do, you do. But that's part of it, right? Like, the, it's a create, it's a, that's. That's like fucking calligraphy. It's a dead <laughs> language. No, it's not. Yes, because nobody uses calligraphy unless you're fucking getting Wait married. Wait until we get hit with this fucking EMP that's going to happen. You just have to print. Bitches. You have to know how to print. You don't need cursive. That's like. Trying to be fancy pants. Just put it fucking down with a true e. crime. Are you ready for this one? Oh, we're moving on. We're moving on. We got to move on. We got shit to talk about. This psycho kid. I went down a fucking rabbit hole the other day. I'm still looking up what a conjugation is. <laughs> I went down a rabbit hole on this kid. Okay. I don't know why, but I did. And ultimately, there's a couple of um, documentaries about this kid. Okay. So true crime fans can't sleep after watching a documentary. Mm -hmm. I happen to... I just have to say that I like that MC said, commie fornication sucks. Ca 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 commie fornia. Fornia. Yeah, sucks. Californication. It's kind of, he's playing off of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> MC said, I failed five, English five out of six years. Hey, you it's passed fair. it once. Fine. But you know what? You're still successful. And that's part of it. You just... All of us figure out where to fit That's in. That's why it doesn't it, like the, the I'm shit, great with numbers. The shit they teach you in school for English, it's like calculus. Unless you're gonna be a scientist, you're not gonna fucking use calculus. It's kind I I, I wouldn't even say it's embarrassing anymore. I'm 47 years old. Why and would I've you be embarrassed? Well, no, some people would be embarrassed to like not know what a 
pro, uh, proverb those is. Those are people verb, who were all those things. I'm not a writer. I have a neighbor who That's is what a people writer. Get publicist. I mean, uh, editors for. Yeah, I have a writer. And even the editors street. fuck up because I read books and I'm smart enough to be like, "That's not right." Right. You just read it. And you just know. Right? Yeah. All right. So you're good. Don't worry. Bro. Don't. Yeah. All right. You could probably teach so this English true now. crime fan. This true crime guy. All right. This one's fucked up. And I happened to see this pop up today, but I happened, what happened again what was, happened was, is I was, every once in a while I get like a true crime thing that will pop up on like my Instagram and I'll go down a rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Have you ever been on those? Just left because right. Wickery just broke down that sentence. John, John goes to, to the store. John is the noun. <clears throat> goes is the verb. Two is the adverb, question mark. The store is the noun. <clears throat> I appreciate that. I mean, we can't tell you if you're right or wrong. So yeah. you're right. In I'm our book. too dumb to know you're right if that's in good our book. or bad. I maybe it is. Thank you for that. Yeah. John goes to the store and jerks off. No, we didn't need to go that far. Is that the adjective? Jerks off is the verb. It's the action. Is jerk one thing and jerked off, off is all is, is it all one? It's all one. <clears throat> is it jerk hyphen one off? No, it's just jerked off. Maybe jerked is the uh, the, Action. the verb and off is the pronoun. I don't know. I'm just making that shit up. All right, let's go. <laughs> so this guy, go out and go out and find this dude. And then Woom said, adverb would modify the verb. I'm done See, with See, that hurts my head already. Just that little bit. I hate all Can't of you. Can't do it. I love Can't you all, it. but we're going to talk about a true crime guy. This true crime fans <laughs> have been left disgusted after watching a documentary about murder murderer Brian Cohey. And I have to. This kid is. That's who this dude is. But I happened three days ago, four days ago. I found like there's certain Instagram, um, whatever accounts that you, they'll break out clips of like certain things. And this one happened to be where it was like the interview from when he got arrested okay. all the way through where he admitted what he was doing and what he did and how he did it. And it's on Netflix. Yeah, well, it's it's on. That was on Instagram. Oh, okay. Right, just these clips. But there is, if you want to watch a fucked up, crazy true crime, no. go check this out. Coey from Colorado, U.S., uh, was arrested in 2021 and later sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole. He had murdered and dismembered a 69 year old homeless man, uh, Warren Barnes. How old is he? He's he was 20, or some shit like that. Okay. 19. He was 19 when he did. It. He was just driving down the road and happened to see a dude in a tent. He was already doing shit before that. Though. No, he yep. wasn't. He was. He had dismembered animals. Well, he hadn't. He had said he hadn't. They start somewhere. They don't just start with a human. This kid, his parents even said his mom found the head, the human head, and his hands. But that doesn't mean he in didn't. In his closet. I know, but that doesn't mean he didn't. Holy just fuck, he didn't right? Say Your he parents did. have concerns don't over start some, with a human. That's how it goes. Your parents have some parents concerns over some stuff they found in the room. What would that be? And he goes, yeah, I believe so. A human head and some hands from that fella that went missing. I murdered him, murdered him with a knife. Dude, it's fucking gnarly. But true, you want to watch a true crime thing? It's out on... Nope. Um, it's on YouTube channel Explore With Us. Recently released the true crime <laughs> doc on the murderer. Which has racked up over eleven How old million is he views. Now? He's it, it's like a few years ago, so oh, maybe not twenty-two, that old. Okay. something like that. But again, I mean, this go check him. it out. It, why, I don't understand why people don't get the death sentence. Certain states, but again, you yeah, go back let's, to let's and you're like, holy pay for that fuck. fuck! No, what the taxes didn't pay for it. Those no, people, I said let our taxes pay for that fuck. Like, oh, you oh you don't know that? You didn't you don't know the whole reason why we don't just murder people, not yeah. murder. Kill people. Death sentence. Not it murder. Costs kill. Like ten times more to put people to death nowadays. How can that be possible when some people live in jail for fifty years? Appeals. The cost of going to trial again and again and again and again. That's why. Isn't that fucked up? Like you would think, just put a bullet in them. Fucking give somebody some, some what, do, what do they call it? Tom's commissions or whatever, commissary, where they can go buy some fucking Frito-Lays or something like that. Go buy some chips, man. Give the shit out of this dude. Sit, like, for a week in 
Pay, you. pay somebody already yeah, in jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're already going to be there for fucking your life. How about you just fucking pay him as like the inside hitman? Um, I still can't Why believe not? that appeals are that much more than having a person survive for like 50 years in jail. Dude, it's cheaper to fucking keep them alive. Some people don't deserve to stay alive. Nope. I agree 100%. What do you think? Do we just kill everyone? Not everyone. Certain crimes deserve to be. You cut some random dude's head off. Yes. If and you're he stabbed, if him, you're violent like that, this kid is fucked. If you're a child molester. Oh yeah, yeah, child molester. If you're just, a rapist. I mean, drugs. That's a bad thing, but you probably shouldn't get. Do the you death know sentence. where the most likely places to be abducted by an alien? Wait. Oh damn! You changed that on a fucking dime. Where do you think bro? that would be? Uh, Wyoming, Utah. Wyoming. Where do you guys? New where Mexico? would you go? No, I take that back. New Mexico. New Mexico. Area 51's right Surprising. there. Sedona. Sedona, Arizona. That's yeah. where they have yeah, the yeah, vortex yeah, yeah. Would, and all the that vortexes. shit. Remember where we went there? Yep. Oh, so, look, I just used MC's word because I read it. Yep. What? Yep. Yep. Prisons were privatized on no big government budget contracts decades ago. Yep. No. No I bid. I mean. No bid. No big, no bid. Basically, there's like throw people in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Basically, prisons are a money making. Thing. How? Because they are. <clears throat> more people you throw in them, the more fucking federal aid has to go to those, right? Because you have to support them and that support too. them. Keep That's those what motherfuckers I'm saying. Like, alive. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's more expensive to keep people alive. Like if we literally went out and but just... what he's saying is the prison system doesn't want people put to death because then they miss money because yeah. that person although a lot of times people are in death row for like twenty years. Right. Why? They have a good lawyer. Appeal system. Appeal, 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 appeal. Like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. Was you shouldn't like, be able to appeal that many times. It should be like two and out. Two and out. You do run out of certain amount. You, there are a certain number of appeals you get. I'm just saying. I don't know. This one's Listen, getting, how about this, this show's getting more. Don't, don't right, break the law. Right before and you don't have to worry the, about damn it. Damn eclipse. You guys don't, don't do anything law. crazy on Monday. But law. if you do do something crazy... You want to get abducted by an alien? Where do we go? The top 10 states where alien abductions oh, 10 of them? are most likely... Where not to visit? Including the sightings per capita. Okay, are where? Vermont, number one. Vermont? There are 0. .000095 sightings per year. It's like... It's less than one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Washington. All those zeros and State, a yes. nine four. 94 they're real close. I mean, you're really not going to get abducted then. Montana, 8-9. Alaska, 8-8. Eight, eight. I, I thought Alaska had way more sightings than that. Maine, 8-8, <clears throat> eight, eight, right there. Oh, wait. I just moved New Hampshire and 8-7. Oregon, 8-4. I mean, New Mexico's not even on there. That's New Mexico's the next oh, one okay. up, baby. 7-9. Like, number 9? Number 8. Okay, what's number 9? Georgia. Seven four. Georgia, you never hear about people seeing you. Wyoming. Seven two. You hear people saying Wyoming. Says, I'll give you this. Right. Wyoming, New Hampshire, New Mexico. You would think New York, like Arizona. the Adirondacks or something like that, because that's where my mom swears she saw some fucking aliens. That's the trail, and right? she the Adirondacks, the mountains. Remember, she had that yeah. big fucking poster picture. No, she had this big like of remember. the Adirondack mountains. I don't. I wonder where that went. Anyway. So long time, um, but my mom swears that she was out at her boyfriend's house in New York, right? In New York, yeah. upstate New York. I remember the story that they literally had a whole like ten hours that were gone. Yeah, and I can't talk to my They're mom. They're like Betty anymore. and what's his dead. name? Benny and the Jets. No, Betty and her husband. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From like the most famous fucking abduction. Andrea and I talked about. Yeah, yeah. Him. Um, and she swears that like. Dude, th I think they got really fucking happy. high because they did smoke a lot of weed. Uh, that's right. My mom used to smoke weed with back him. Then. That's God, when she was going through her weed phase. God about it. I just think they got really fucking mom. I really think they just got fucking How high and like. That's what it is. Like double it. pat, kiss up. No, you don't double kiss. You double pat. Double pat. Single kiss up. Up. Okay. Learning new things, new ghetto things from my wife. 
He's gangster. Barry, so, I'm Barry. I'm just saying, if you guys are going to uh, want to be abducted this year, and Womb says the Adirondack is six million acres. Weird shit happens there. There are we, there's that triangle that remember you did the I the did triangle yep, up in New York kid State, got, and yep. I only found one boot. One boot, and on then they the, found another boot like a year later. Yeah, that was literally that on the a year bus. later. Dude, I'm telling you, there's all sorts of wild shit. Um, but it's so funny that it's like, okay, so here's where I have a problem with it because we watched that show sloppy much paranormal cut on tape. Yep. Right. And every show, I mean, literally every show there's six seasons of like 20 se uh, episodes. There's a UFO sighting. Yeah. So how can it only be zero, zero, zero? There was a new, nine. there's a brand new, uh, UFO and it's a V UFO. A, a it's not new by the way it's is it it flies like this did you just see it no i've seen it before on that show oh no there's a new one and it's even got shadowing below it i just didn't bring it up oh I thought this you need was... to send it to nukes top five. Oh wait uh, it's not scary yeah and it's like... um but this is what's amazing to me that it's 0 0.00009 that's and sightings of per the population sightings per the population uh, right. there's a view there's a there's all right so, I mean, that's just how it goes. I mean, there's like not Again, a lot of people see aliens. It, I feel not aliens, just UFOs. I feel like we should so, all have seen them by now example. if they were real. There were only 416 <clears throat> sightings reported <clears throat> in a 584,000 strong. Wait, Wyoming say that again. What the numbers population. again? 400 and 416 what? people out of 584,000 people in Wyoming side. That's where you get that number of point zero. But then we have shows like that, that cool one that we watched on Netflix that had like all the, the biggest sightings in the world, Texas, Africa. Okay. I'll give you another example of this. Australia. Right. So I'll give you another real Ireland. life example. The work that I do is based on like satellite imagery and, and aerial imagery. This is going to give you see this, UFOs. This will break it down to you real quick. Break it down. Right. So how many people put solar panels on the roof? A lot. Okay, you think so. Well, because I am one. Yeah. But it's actually 0 .05, 005% of our, the, the firm's, book of business. That's it? That's it. What's wrong but, with these people? It saves you fucking tons of money. But the idea is this. It's 57,000, 80,000, 100,000, depending on what state you're in. Right. Right? Bigger state, bigger but the number. the volume, if you were to say overall, of all these people, it's still... A concentration and it's a lot of money and it's a lot of risk and it's a lot of premium so what, it's what, still happening over the company not the, the company people. yeah it, it right and they don't know so you think about it when you it depends on how you weigh things right and Boom said you do aerial work so you can feel tall i do i just fly around and superman i've already flown your house dude don't worry i know where you live no you don't liar i absolutely know where you live you don't know that I don't know. I know. Matter. I know your bullshit face and your bullshit face is on right now. Bullshit. You'll be getting a letter from me. Where'd my bullshit button go? He's probably not even insured with USA because it's fucking expensive. It's right there. Did I say that out loud? I did. It is expensive. Mostly we are insured with them. <laughs> we are insured with them and I see my bill every month and I'm like, I went up a lot. It's all good. Yeah. So aliens are coming. Um, California was gone. Recorded. Aliens are coming. Grades are going down. The eclipse is coming, which is going to blow the earth up. And the comet is the devil's ring. The devil's tail. Do we call, do we start calling um, the Jesus. butthole the devil's Jesus. ring? No. Should we start calling the butthole the devil's ring? No. It's not devil's ring. What if you get, have a hemorrhoid on it? Do you start calling it the devil's then ring? You call it the devil's ring. It's the devil's <laughs> ring, right? You're like, can I get some preparation? It's not even, it's ring? more like the devil's black hole. The devil's hole? Devil's hole. I, I'm, it's a ring. I'm still going to call it the ring. Okay, you can call it the ring. Devil's ring. So if your guys' is devil's ring get a little spicy, get some uh, preparation H. What's that supposed to do? I think it cools it down. It You're, keeps it from itching? Look. Don't you, don't you embarrass me? I'm not gonna embarrass you. Oh, I was like, "What are you gonna say?" What are you you've never say? had to use it. No, I've never. No, had but to your ex-husband did. I remember having. No, that was for the eyes. His eyes. He used preparation. It's age. you're you're supposed to use it for your eyes because it tightens everything up. He had there were seven hundred 
things of him. I don't know. What? He, no. I mean. No. 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 Maybe no, no, he no, no, used no. it for his butthole. I don't know. Yeah. 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 He used it for his butthole. For when he met his friend Stefan. Um. And stayed out all night. That was the end of our marriage. I don't even know if it was really. It was a Steph or Stefan. I don't know. What? I saw his picture. He was. With we a need girl. to bring this back. Let's walk this back. We got another twenty minutes on nope. this podcast. My we bladder got... says malarkey. <laughs> we got seven minutes. All right, wait a minute. What the fuck did you? I told All you. Right. So no, I went into this initial preparation thing about the butthole ring being the devil's ring because so forever, I understand before if there you was get... before okay, there was on. like doctor what's his name's all this shit that would tighten up your eyes. Models used to use preparation I eight for the bags so, and the circles. It I would understand. Tighten it up. Right. But you guys, when I went. Not you guys. Helped, well, no. You, your house. You, I would say that I'm going to say it's you. Because I didn't. Okay. He didn't live there. Well, you, you. Oh, you're talking about the apartment. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. He didn't have hardly the, anything there. First of all. Well, I know I saw like 70 bottles. Of, no, you didn't. You're totally. There maybe so, was like 640. Maybe there were two. It was a lot. It I was more than know. the average. I've never bought preparation H in my whole life. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure. Okay, so I it was know. on your gay ex-husband. I doubt that. I don't, Why does he keep coming up in our conversations about that? I don't months? know. Cause you keep bringing him up. He, I didn't bring him up. You brought him up. You said he had I, 600 bottles of Preparation 8. I didn't say that. When you started talking about the devil's hole, and you're like, Preparation and then you brought 8. Up his... You brought, you were like, Preparation 8, like your ex husband, 600 bottles. I'm like, I don't have no idea. Oh, because you about. told me that were his. I don't even remember finding them. They were underneath your counter. Mm, I think you. I think you're making stuff up. Oh, okay. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Through. We've got we've got some counseling to go Listen, through. Listen, you know what? I eat as long as he's witch happy. hazel. I think um, womb said just um, use witch we, hazel. We have I, used that I've on used Mick. It. Yeah, on, on his our butthole. dog when he was having some issues. Yeah, he didn't have hemorrhoids, but he had like a little hot spot fissure or something. What was it called? Um, isn't that when you, they get like a um, when they drag their ass? Yeah, whatever that is. A little cold witch hazel. We still have a bottle of witch hazel in the fridge. I think I threw it out. It doesn't go bad. Uh, you don't know that. No, Everything which supposedly goes bad. You don't know that. Did you throw it out? When was the last time you touched it? Jesus Christ. If you didn't now even I've know Now I've got to go buy out. a new bottle. Mm -hmm. You guys, we love you. Thank you for hanging out. Greg isn't it. making stuff up. He has short-term memory. I fucking love you. I mean, it's okay. You're not wrong, but you're not right. <laughs> He's totally right. You have short-term memory? Yes. Trust me. I don't remember shit half the time, and the shit that I remember half. Me neither. And then the, you give me our time. The other like, half the time, I don't got, know if it's right early or wrong. On anyway, so you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. What's your feel good? My feel good is I wrote something down. It's still, mm, it's not light out. I was gonna say it's still light out. Well, it was when we came on an hour yeah. ago. You know what? Just it being, ago. I love fucking long days. I loved that the weather for the last two days had been perfect. Yeah, not so perfect. Starting tomorrow, back to like eighty five percent humidity. Oh, we're going to the Highland game. That's my feel. Yes, good. we're yes, going to the Highlands game. game with friends and family to see all these Scottish men in their kilts. There's a place throwing called Big Big Logs. There's a place right over here. That's the best Scottish I've got. The Sorry, that's Cornival Grounds. Cornival. You don't Cornival. Break it. Cornival. 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 Cornival Grounds. It means because halotus means corn in Spanish. Make it make sense, it, love. I, I'm trying. I was trying to get there. I just couldn't do it. The, uh, so the, anyway, uh, the, uh, we're gonna go over. We're gonna watch some men in tights. Not tights, kilts. Oh, we're gonna watch a bunch of balls Fuck. flying around. Flap, 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 flap. Listen, they're all like six five, three hundred pounds. It's fine fun. with me. I'm good. We'll take a bunch of pictures. We'll share with you guys. Cheers. Love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's Bye. been awesome. Thanks for putting up with us. Ready. We'll catch you next time. Love you guys. Cheers. Love you. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome to the Bars Open 